Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio and welcome to another CRM tutorial video. Now, as a sales manager, supervising many people at once can be pretty challenging. The bigger the team is, the less time we have to assign them work and help them with larger deals. That's why, here at Stealthywood, we decided to split our salespeople into smaller, more manageable teams. Now, the most common approach is to split teams based on localizations, by cities, countries, or regions. This method connects customer groups with sales teams who will better understand their needs based on shared languages, knowledge, or cultural backgrounds. Now, another common method is to split sales teams by market segments, such as customer profiles or the products they buy. For example, one sales team may be responsible for business-to-business -business activity and another for business-to-consumer activity. Now, separating sales teams in our CRM makes, you know, a lot of sense because each team has its own unique sales flow. Now, for instance, my B2B team may have three stages in their pipeline, while my B2C team only has two. Separating into teams also gives us more accurate and useful reports about our sales team's methods and their performance. So, let's jump into Odoo and let's learn how to set up some sales teams. So here we are on our CRM dashboard. From here, we can easily get to our sales team's configuration and we're gonna to go to our configuration and into the sales team. Now, as you can see, I already have a couple teams set up based on region, but let's take a closer look at our North America sales team. So we're gonna click on North America and we're gonna edit it. Now, first of all, we have these check boxes at the top. I wanna make sure this sales team can create quotations from our opportunities. So I'll check this box. Now I also want to have a pipeline specifically for my North America sales team. So I'll also check this box. Now, you wanna make sure both of these boxes are checked by the way. So Odoo makes it super easy to have separate pipelines for your sales team so that you can use the CRM as efficiently as possible. Now, we'll take a look at the individual pipelines later as well. Now. I can also assign a team leader, by the way, on this page. Now, also on this page, if you didn't know, I can even create a custom email alias for this team. Whenever anyone sends an email to this unique address, an opportunity will automatically be generated in this sales team's pipeline. And isn't that convenient? Now, all we have to do, by the way, is type in the alias we want to use. So in our case, we're going to type North Sales. And that's it. Once we hit save, our email alias will be active. Now, I can also choose who to accept emails from, but in this case, I'll leave it as everyone. Now, I can also set an invoicing target, which is the team's monthly sales goal as a monetary amount. Let's set this to 250,000, because I believe my team are rock stars. So now that we do this, we come to the assignment rules. These rules tell Odoo which leads or one opportunities to assign to this sales team. And this is done so that we don't need to look at every lead individually and assign it ourselves. Ah, <sighs> isn't that easy? Now no more manual assignment. I'm telling you, automation is the future and Odoo's automatic assignment saves us time and it boosts efficiency by preventing mistakes, frustration, inequality, and most importantly, inconsistency when assigning leads. By the way, I have a whole video on leads, so be sure to check that out right after this one. Now, the criteria that Odoo uses to determine lead assignments is called the domain. Now, here in my domain, I already have a few criteria set up so the opportunities from the United States, Canada, and Mexico will all be assigned to my North America sales team. If I click into the edit domain, I can change these rules or I can add to them. I could do so by clicking onto the plus sign next to this last line. And that's how we add a new rule. Now in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and also click over here on ID because I need to reveal a special menu. And in that menu, we're gonna go down over here to language. Now I have countless options here. I could have chosen a language if I want this team to handle all opportunities in a certain language. In our case, we're gonna type Spanish. We're reaching south or very far east, depending on who you ask. Or if I want to create a B2B sales team, for example, I could make a rule that says company name is set. And we can do this by going over to language to reveal this drop down again. 
and we're going to click over here to the company name. And that's it. This means if a new opportunity has a company name listed, then it will be assigned to this sales team. Similarly, for a B2C team, I could choose company name is not set to filter leads that are not associated with any company. In this case, you would just leave the second field as is not set. So as you can see, we have tons of options, but for this sales team, I'm going to leave the domain as it was before and just discard our changes. Now, right beneath domain, we have the assigned leads count, ALC, which tells us the number of leads that this team has been assigned this month, as well as their monthly average. Now, at the very bottom, we can add team members as well with this little add button under the members tab. But we're done here, so we're going to save the sales team now. And now that we have our sales team and assignment rules configured the way that we want them, Odoo can assign leads for us. We can manually trigger this by clicking the assign leads button all the way up here. Or, and this is the important part, we could set it up so that Odoo automatically assigns leads when we want it to. To do this, I'll go into my settings. So we're going to click into configuration, settings, and here we have a setting called rule-based assignment. This must be activated in order to configure automatic assignment rules for your sales teams. And I reiterate that you need to have this activated. What's really cool about this feature, by the way, is that it can, it can be run repeatedly on its own. And you can do so by going over here to changing to running repeatedly. And we're going to repeat it four hours and we're going to hit save as usual. Now, Odoo will automatically assign new leads to our sales teams every four hours using the same domain criteria that we set up on our team's profile. If we ever want to run the assignment feature immediately, we can always hit this button over here for the update now. Now when we do that, Odoo gives us a quick notification telling us how many leads were just assigned. So cool. So Odoo makes assigning work to our sales team so effortlessly. And I'm glad that you guys saw that. But one last thing before I forget, I'll point out on this page is the multi-team setting, which lets you assign one salesperson to multiple sales teams. This can be especially useful if some of your sales team's responsibilities overlap, such as with pre-sales and the regular sales team. I have this setting activated right now since I'm the team lead for both of our sales teams. Now that we're done with this, there's one more important configuration we should discuss which is the individual team members configuration. Now, in order to configure team members, you need to be in developer mode. Please be sure to check out the Odoo documentation on developer mode to learn how and when to use it. So in our case, we're gonna turn on developer mode. And now you notice I have a new option in my CRM configuration menu. When we go over here, we see team members. Now here, are all of the team members of our sales team. As you can see, I'm assigned to multiple sales teams. Creating a new salesperson from this page will create a new user in Odoo. For now, let's just look at an existing profile. In this case, let's pick classic Mark Demo. So here, I can set some domain criteria for the individual team member. When a team member's domain is set, an opportunity has to fulfill both the sales team domain and the team member domain in order to be assigned to this team member. Now, another thing you can toggle on this page is the skip auto assignment option. If a team member is exempt from being assigned work for any reason, maybe they're on vacation or maybe they just have too much on their plate already, the person can check this box on their own profile to avoid having leads automatically assigned to them. Or I, as an administrator, can also check the box for them. Okay, so now you've seen everything. And now that our sales teams are all configured, let's check out our team's pipeline. So we're gonna go ahead and head back into CRM, sales and teams. Now here on our teams dashboard, we see overviews for all of the sales teams. We can click these three dots in the corner for each sales team's box to see very, uh, very convenient navigation options. So we're gonna click the three dots. And also we can even create new opportunities and quotations directly from this dashboard with just one click. Now, if we click the pipeline button, we'll see the unique pipeline for this particular sales team. And you can see that now, but from here, we can easily switch to view our entire company's pipeline by simply deleting the sales team feature. And there you go. 
Wouldn't you look at that? Now another really cool thing we can do in our pipeline is assign a sales team for one particular stage. And to do this, we just click on the gear icon next to the qualified stage, and you're gonna hit edit stage, and you're gonna click the sales team dropdown, and finally, select South America. Now, if we designate a team for this stage, only this sales team will be able to see this stage in our pipeline. This feature is particularly helpful if you want to have teams for different steps in the sales process. For example, a pre-sales team or a closing team. And now that we're done, we hit save. Now, if we go back to our North America team's pipeline, we'll see that the qualified stage no longer appears there. So let's head on back via the legendary breadcrumbs at Odoo. And we're gonna go back, click North America's pipeline, and there you have it. This worked immediately because the North America team did not have any opportunities in the qualified stage. If it did, then the team would continue to see the qualified stage until all of its opportunities are removed from there. So, as you can see, Odoo makes it incredibly easy to organize your salespeople into effective teams and match your customers to the salespeople who will give them the best experience possible. That's all for now, Odooers. Thanks for watching, and remember, so do, not oh don't.